Hey friends, Elizabeth here from Plant-Based Fried, back again with another video. And today I'm setting up my husband's bullet journal for March, and he wanted to do a Mars theme with the recent news of the lander. He's currently in an Archer and Olive notebook in A5 size. I'll link the specific one down below and you can use my affiliate code PBB10 for 10% off your purchase from the Archer and Olive website. Getting started right away with the cover page and the cover page is inspired by a piece of art that my husband had found a while back and was a really big fan of. So I'll put the original artwork up on the screen. This is what I was going for, though I did make some changes to fit better my vision for this. And the original artwork is called Welcome to Mars and it's by Stephen Toang. They sell their art on Society6, so I'll link their page down below if you wanna buy the original poster. It is pretty awesome. So for my version, one of the big things I changed was the font. I wanted to go with something a little more futuristic rather than retro. So I went for something a little more space age monoline. I'm also doing this with my Archer and all of acrylographs rather than digitally. So there are naturally going to be some changes because of the different medium. Though I did pick the acrylographs specifically because they are paint pens with a nice flat opaque finish, which I thought would work really well for this. Acrylographs also layer really well on each other, so as long as you wait for the first layer to dry, you can layer on top of it with literally any color, lighter or darker, and it's a great asset for doing spreads that involve this kind of modern looking layering technique. So while I work on the cover page, let's chat some Mars facts. My husband was very excited about this theme, so he did the research for these facts for me. So if you find these facts interesting, you have my husband to thank. So this Mars theme actually ties in really well with my theme for March, which is Greek goddesses. I'll link the video if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. And the reason they tie in so well is that Mars is the site of the largest volcano and highest known mountain on any planet in our solar system. And that volcano is called Olympus Mons or Mount Olympus. Obviously the Greek gods and goddesses were meant to live on Mount Olympus. So it is such a perfect little tie in there. Completely unplanned, but very pleasant. Some of the earliest mentions and observations of Mars were made by the second millennium BCE by Egyptian astrologers. And Mars is named for the Roman god of war. The first time anyone saw Mars up close was Galileo Galilei by telescope in 1610. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun and the second smallest planet in the solar system. Show off your memory for elementary school science and leave the smallest planet in the solar system in the comments down below. Mars has two moons, Phobos and Deimos, and iron oxide or rust is what gives the planet its deep red and orange tones. Our first remote flyby visit to Mars was in July of 1965, and our most recent visit was with the Perseverance rover, which successfully landed on Mars on February 18th, 2021. And that's the inspiration for doing this theme at all. Our first manned trip to Mars, whenever that may be, will likely take about seven months to complete, traveling approximately 480 million kilometers. Mars is a very popular locale in science fiction, especially classic science fiction, and it's guessed that that may be a combination of its dramatic red color and by speculations that its surface conditions might be able to support intelligent life. A few organizations are currently working on potential manned missions to Mars. SpaceX could make it as early as 2024, and NASA is aiming for the early 2030s. So those are all of the super fun Mars facts my husband found for this video. Give this video a like if you enjoy the facts. And also just in general, if you enjoy me sharing some more facts about whatever inspired the theme in these videos, like I did in this video, and also like I did talking about all of the goddesses I featured in my March plan with me in my own bullet journal. Please let me know in a comment. Just tell me you like facts. You could just write facts and then a check mark or a thumbs up. 
It doesn't have to be a 12 point double spaced five paragraph essay, but just let me know because I'm kind of having fun doing this whole sharing facts thing. And if y'all are also liking it, then I will continue. I'm keeping the calendar page super simple. It's the same dimensions as last month. So for these mini calendars in the A5 size, each day is three by five. Just adding a couple layers of these mountains in the same colors from the cover page behind the calendar to tie that in and then obviously using all the same colors as well. I'm using Archer and Olive Acrylographs for this and Archer and Olive actually launched the sale of individual acrylographs yesterday, and they have a sale running till Monday, March 1st, where if you buy five acrylographs, you get your sixth acrylograph free. So I'll have a link to the individual acrylographs in the description box, along with the link to all of the supplies I used in this video. But as you can see, I used very little other than acrylographs to make this setup. So check it out if you wanna shop the sale, but I just wanted to let y'all know that they did that because I think that that is really awesome. I love the idea that people can kind of build their own sets with the colors that they use most, or alternatively buy a bunch of backups for your most used pens, like the white and black, if you're me, or a backup of your favorite color that you like to use in every theme. I just think it's awesome. So I wanted to mention it. My Archer and Olive links are affiliate links. So if you shop through my links, it doesn't cost you anymore, but it actually gives me a small commission for referring you. And that helps me continue to produce content on my channel. So thank you. Flipping to the last spread of this setup, which is the first page of his notes pages. As I mentioned before, my husband keeps it really simple in his bullet journal, he uses his monthly calendar, his future log at the front, and a running daily log for predominantly notes while he's working, but also other things that come up throughout his days. So I like to set up his first notes page and make it fit with whatever theme I was doing. For the notes page, I decided to go really modern and I went with four stripes getting wider as you go down. So a super thin yellow stripe, a thicker dark yellow stripe, an even thicker orange stripe, and then a super thick dark blue stripe. And then I'm using red on top of the blue once it's fully dry to create this little drawing of Mars. And this is a great way to see how opaque these acrylographs are because this red is going on super bright on top of this really dark blue. And that's it for the setup. So I'll do a quick little flip through from the top so you can really see what they look like. I think this is super fun. Jason was really, really excited about it when he saw it. He actually immediately asked me to scan the spreads so he could work on making some wallpapers for his computer and his phone from these drawings. So whenever he finishes those, I'll probably just share those with my patrons as a little bonus. My patrons get wallpapers for my themes every month, but I don't think they've ever had wallpapers for my husband's themes. So just a fun bonus there. Again, check out Stephen Toang's work if you like the cover page this month because it is totally inspired by his awesome artwork. So check him out. And that's it for today's video. So I'm gonna get going. Before I do, I wanna take a quick minute to thank my patrons for their support. Extra special thanks to our newest patrons, John, Sophia, Monica, Anna, Whitney, Ashley, Alexandra, Tasha, Yao, Abigail, Caitlin, Shandal, Cheyenne, Ali and Angela. Welcome all of you to the squad. We are so excited to have you. If you at home wanna join the squad and get all the printables of my March setup and the wallpapers from my March setup and also bonus wallpapers for my husband's setup, plus access to our awesome exclusive Discord community and a whole bunch of other things, including live streams, 
check it out. Join the squad. We would love to have you. And with that, I'm going to get going. Thank you so much for joining me. Say hi to Chewy helping us out. And I'll see you really soon in my next one. Bye, friends. Make sure to check out my March plan with me in my bullet journal if you haven't seen that one yet. I'm really proud of it. Also, I posted a February reading journal plan with me just a couple days ago. And it's a really calming, relaxing one. So I am told I'm proud of how that one turned out as well. Okay, that's it. Bye. <laughs>